Hello guys, this is Jacko and Laurel from Mighty uh, Tiger Outdoors and today you're joining us for uh, another uh, mini adventure. Today is going to be the quest for the American Wild Plum, as funny as that may sound, especially if you're in the UK. Um, yeah, we're going to find wild edibles today, specifically the American Wild Plum, which is something that we've seen around here before, but we didn't know what it was until we went home and researched. So stick around and we'll show them to you. Alright guys, so we've taken a trail that we've never taken before and it paid off. I mean, look at this tree. This is a super, super big tree. In fact, I didn't think we had trees big enough around here. Um, the trunk, it's easily six, seven feet in diameter in uh, some area. So that's definitely a very big tree. I'm not sure if it's alive. It is. It is? Uh, so it's still alive. I don't even know how old a tree this big would be, but um, i got to imagine it's super old. Let me show you around. If you guys identify these, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm really curious to see what these are. They're pretty though. There's definitely a lot more mosquitoes this time than the last time. So we just have to break open the mosquito repellent and uh, spray a little bit so we don't get eaten up. And there are a lot more mushrooms and uh, I guess fungi around since it's been kind of humid and hot so I guess prime temperature and conditions for um, mushrooms to um, come back up live All right, so we found the tree, um, or the wild American plum tree. It's this one right here and this one right here, they're kind of growing together. That's what the bark looks like. This is what the leaves look like. And this one doesn't have as much or as many fruits as the other one that we saw the other day. But there's one, I'll show it to you. So anyway, that's the only little fruit that we can find. Um, I'm guessing the wildlife or the animals have been eating on it is what it's meant for so pretty cool I was kind of looking forward to try it see what it tastes like so apparently it's it's a good tasting fruit I guess like a plum would be all right 
So, so far the quest for the American Wild Plum has been slightly fruitless, no pun intended. Well, not entirely fruitless since there was only one little fruit growing out of that tree. But, now that we've done some research and we sort of knows where it grows and how to identify it, we'll just kind of keep walking and keep an eye out. And I don't think there's a chance that there's that's going to be the only two trees. So we'll keep looking guys. this before but this is also a biking trail uh, mountain biking trail we kind of have to share the trail with bikers and people that run and all that kind of stuff so we have to constantly be on the alert for fast approaching bikers so what do you think that is I doubt it but it looks kind of like butterfly pea just a flower Did you know that you can actually brew butter, um, butterfly pea flowers and you get a bright blue tea? So we started hmm. talking about butterfly pea because that plant, although I doubt it's butterfly pea, kind of looks like it. It's almost like a snapdragon type flower. But um, butterfly pea, actually, it's a bright blue flower. And in a lot of Asian cultures, they will brew it like a tea, and it's this bright, crazy bright blue tea. Um, and they'll also use it as a dye um, in a lot of foods and things like that, rather than using uh, processed artificial colors. It actually looks really cool. I've always been trying to find it here and there, but I don't know if I'll ever get to experience butterfly pea tea. Alright Laurel, so what is the scientific name for what was butterfly it? Pea. Butterfly pea? Clitoria ternate. Is it that allowed? Clitoria ternate. And that's why I bring her to these trips. Alright, so I actually looked up um, butterfly pea. And I don't know if you can see it. That's the tea they make out of it. So it's quite a bit more blue, and that's how they use it as a dye. I think that's a mung bean. Or Looks like a gelatin. Yeah, I think they make it out of sweet rice. But that's the actual flower, so definitely not uh, what we saw earlier. So we're walking along minding our own business in nature. We hear this zzz, zooming noise. Want to take a look at what it is? That's what it is. Just keeping it real guys. It happens. Alright guys, time for or time for the obligatory apple snack. Cheers. Well, I'm starting to think we're not gonna find any more wild plum trees. We've been kind of keeping an eye out, but nothing looks familiar. We don't find any 
fruits on the ground. Maybe one week will do. Yeah, that was just last week, so maybe they're out of season or they're coming out of season. Kind of chose this top here for our uh, second water break. It's, this is a cool tree and you know I always see it when we come around this trail and um, I don't know, I think it's a very attractive tree, the color, the structure, the type, pretty cool looking tree. Tell you what, if I was nine years old, I'd be climbing all over that tree, there's no doubt about it. Good thing I'm not nine years old, otherwise I'd be trying it and potentially falling. We don't need a bike to enjoy this. The last time we were walking around this same section right here, there were some cows out in the field across from where we were standing and um, apparently Laurel tried to talk to them making a cow noise and they didn't reply to her but when I tried it they replied to me and then we tried it again and I'll reply and I did it a second time and they did it to me so probably girl cows well either that or I'm more connected with my inner animal more connected with your cowy side right so we figured we would try it again but there's no cows today because they're uh, working on the field Bummer. Sorry, I couldn't resist to do one of these again. All right, guys, so right now is seven minutes past ten in the morning. Temperature is about 88 degrees, a lot of humidity. Apparently the heat index is about 90, so it's getting hot quick. I think the forecast for today is going to be just a little over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But Check that out. Now how do you like them apples? Alright guys, I don't know if you watched the last video where we did the little hill climb. Well now I'm going to give you a point of view on that hill climb. Get it done. It starts to get slippery. On the rock. All right, what did you see on the tree? I totally missed it. Laurel kind of caught it. You see him now? Whoa! <laughs> oh look, there's another one up here. Huh. Oh look, the tree's covered. That cool. The things you miss if you don't pay attention. So we found another interesting looking fruit. I don't know what it is. Um, 
So I guess we're gonna have to go back home and do some research. Find out if it's a fruit or if it's something else. Never seen one of those before, but they're they're pretty interesting looking. All right, guys. So we've reached the end of the adventure. It was once again a little bit fruitless since we didn't see what we came here to find, which was the American wild plum. We only saw one, two smaller trees. But oh well, we got to enjoy nature and sweat a lot and <laughs> you know just see a bunch of different things. So I hope you've enjoyed the the little trip uh, we took this morning. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And once again, check us out on Facebook, Muddy Tiger Outdoors. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.